like they're doing a bit of uh, work on the outside of Harrod. So I don't know if you can see, but it's got like a, a bit like a, a wrap all around um, the outside to kind of give the illusion that it's not wrapped. <laughs> I guess that's Harrod's version of doing it. Then a nice big picture of Ryan Gosling. But yeah, I suppose it doesn't look too bad actually. It's a shame though. I, I love the structure of the building. It's stunning. This is the um, food hall. I've come deliberately early because it's quite quiet now. Whereas obviously at lunchtime it's mad busy. So yeah, there's like hardly anyone here, which is rare. It's usually heaving. So yeah, quite a few things. God, I'm actually starving. I have actually got an afternoon tea, so um, probably shouldn't buy anything now, but might get a little sweet treat. So these are some of the uh, pies, so this is chicken and leek, ham pie, beef and stilton, mushroom asparagus, so they all look to be about £6.50. So, some sausage rolls. Cumberland sausage, pulled pork and apple, chorizo paprika sausage roll. As Brits do love our beige food. So it looks to be a little mini pork pie. I'm not a big fan of pork pies to be honest. Don't mind a scotch egg though. Vegetarian scotch egg, um, red onion. The salads look quite nice as well, actually. All fresh. So I'm tempted one night, I've got friends coming over. I'm kind of tempted to get maybe like beef wellington or salmon on crew, or maybe even a fish cake actually. So they do look quite scrumptious. And then you've got the greens. Or maybe freedom, so you've got lobster thermidora mac and cheese. Oh my god, that's a bit bougie. That's £12, which isn't too bad, but they are quite small portions. You've got chicken and leek. And then at the back, looks like you've got cottage pie, shepherd's pie, fish pie. Nice Asian food, the infamous Peking duck, which looks gorgeous as usual, and then the sandwiches, lots of yummy sandwiches, Wabu Katsu Sando for £28, which is quite a lot to be honest. Oh, look at this home cured ravelax and caviar crust on for £12. Pounds. It's quite funny. And then these little mini packs you've got crab sandwiches, which is new at £10. Pounds. Chicken and avo. And then a few of the smoked salmon. You've got some of the sandwiches. And then the latest kind of spring rolls. We've got various nuts and quite a selection of fruits actually. I do love their selection of fruits, they're usually quite funky. Look at that one at the back, I'm not quite sure what that is at the back, the spiky one. Gosh, it really is super quiet. I would suggest if you do come to Harrods uh, to get food, even for a kind of bite, come in. Um, Bit earlier. It's a lot nicer experience whereas it just gets super busy around lunchtime and in the evening. Oh now we're in the bread section. This is dangerous. Oh look at all these breads. Oh, scones, scones, quite huge croissants. Again there's a little coffee bar in the centre which is usually like fussy cute but it's really quiet. 
chocolate and hazelnut back bath. That looks quite nice. Brioche, plus in white, rye, sourdough. Oh, yummy. And then we've got some of the other croissants. They're actually huge. Looks like this is a dough shant, which is, I guess, a cross between a donut and a croissant for £3.50. Huge pan of chocolates. When I last one had one here, though, it was a bit dry, to be honest. But I'll probably get it at the end of the day. And then when you come to Harrods, you've usually got their kind of um, own brand uh, teas. You've got a bit like Fortnum Mason, really, but their own brand. These are £12. Um, and then you can see here a selection of different teas. Um, I'm not a fan of tea, so I'll take a bite, pass on that one. I might just check out the biscuits. And then this is a good section because you've got all the cakes. Oh my god, so many nice cakes. Look at these huge cakes. And I really want to try the cherry pie. <coughs> I'm going to go do that later. These look quite cute. Vanilla cupcake, chocolate cupcake, all about four or five pounds each. With, with, these are really mini, about five pounds as well. So this is a patisserie area. Now I saw these last time. I, I do like the idea of these actually. They're quite cute. The lemon meringue long boy looks particularly yummy. There's a sticky toffee pudding. For five pounds as well. It's nice. So I've got some of these other tarts. Creme brulee. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take some of these away with me. Never tried a milk cake. Red berry eaten mess for nine pounds. That's quite a pricey one. Then we've got some of the tarts. Very beautiful. do have some sales these look to be three pounds reduced from 12 and then you've got a coffee section again I don't drink coffee but if you like it I'll just show you some options so looks like we've got a quite a bit of variety you've got whole bean coffee oh you've got coffee pods if you want coffee pods chocolate I must admit I don't know if you saw my video um, where I tried the I bought the hot chocolate for Harrods and I think I got the salted caramel no I think it was the praline one um, but it was actually in this packaging but I didn't really like them to be honest um, I was not a fan it was kind of quite sugary and just powder um, of kind of what I paid for them so they're basically 12 and kind of 15 pounds these ones and um, I just don't think it was worth it to be honest and I've also tried the brand at the bottom as well and again I wasn't a big fan um, I think I'm going to try the Fortner and Mason hot chocolates because they've got a bit of a variety and they're actually flaked chocolate but I, I, I would say I wouldn't recommend the Harrods hot chocolate um, but yeah I'll link the details in the description bar below um, and the video where I unbox them um, but yeah as much as I love Harrods, I just wasn't a fan of their hot chocolate. Oh look, here's some Queen, Eliz Queen Elizabeth II Platinum Jubilee Limited Edition. A bit different, if you like that kind of thing. And again, Harrods do have sale items. So you'll see in, uh, they'll have like red tickets on. And they'll obviously be in the kind of set sale section at the back. But if you wanted to get something, so this is... £10 down to £7.50, which is loose leaf tea, looks like. They've also got some hot chocolates. Um, oh, I love the kind of decorative 
kind of casings. Very cool. Um, but yeah, definitely some uh, things to be reduced if you wanted to check them out. Now this is more like it. This is like the sweet treat section. We've got various condiments, chutneys, a bit again like Fortnum Mason. Um, so I might try a few actually. So we'll take some back with me. Parmesan poppy seed oat biscuits, £4.50. Shortbread fingers, lemon and almond biscuits for £8. Um, yeah, maybe I'll get some biscuits. I am a bit of a lover of the Fortnum and Mason biscuits, to be honest. They'd have to be amazing to kind of sway me away from the Fortnum and Mason pistachio and clotted cream cookies because they're my favourite. So these are the own brands, so eight pounds. And then you've also got some of the condiments. You've got marmalades, preserves. These look to be about six pounds. Various ones. And then you've got the Walker's shortbread. I do love Walker's chocolate chip cookies, actually. So maybe I'll get a pack of those. They look to be about £14. Quite novelty marble arch imagery. And then if we look a bit further down, looks like ahead there's a few more biscuit options, biscuit assortments, chocolate biscuits, all around about £20, £22. Shortbread looks to be £25. These look to be tea bags. Now this looks to be the, I guess, honey section. Um, we'll see Manuka honey. I mean, I'm from New Zealand, so I get a lot of Manuka honey anyway, um, which is quite handy. But if you wanted to buy some, it's it's really good. I mean, you can look at this one, it's 500 pounds. It's meant to have really good health benefits. But um, if you like that. Oh, we've got Sicilian cannelloni lemon. Oh, hazelnut nut chocolate cannelloni. They look quite nice. Pistachio, oh look at that. This is £10. Quite expensive. I don't think you get that many, but oh my god, it does look really nice. Almond brittle shells filled with pistachio cream. Oh, that's tempting. Maybe I'll come back for those. These are nice. I might get some of these to take back with me. Some truffle salt. Balsamic, some dressings. Some more sale items. Ooh, looks like they've got some truffles for sale. So this is 80 pounds down to 60. If you want um, some summer truffles. Sauces and pestos, some more walkers, looks to be biscuits reduced, £18 to £13.50. So this is the truffle section, so you can have truffle with olive oil, looks like there's some truffle salts, so this looks quite nice. I might get one of those to take back. That's ten pounds. You've got truffle pasta. Looks to be duck foie gras. Oh, looks really nice actually. And then you've got truffle butter. And then Harrods have also got, looks to be a um, reduction on some of their wines, wine, wine and champagne. And I'm kind of tempted to buy a few more of the reusable bags. I do love these. I think this is about six pounds, which is a bit thin. And then also I think 
yeah for 20 must be 20 pounds they've got like this jute bag which is really quite heavy and quite substantial it's a decent size actually that could be quite good for my food shops it smells really nice it's a real leather strap as well but that's obviously a bit more money for 20 pounds and then you've got the wines i mean to be honest i know nothing about wine but um if you guys are there's like Harrod Champagne, which looks to be about £50. Malbec, Pinot Grigio, and it looks to be more biscuits as well. Loads of biscuits actually. And then loose leaf tea. And then a few more jams. Oh, Mediterranean apricot and thyme preserve, £6. Going through the chocolate section, which is the chocolate hall, which is probably my most dangerous section. Oh my god, I want to buy so much stuff. I need to control myself. So this is basically one of the many food halls. Um, it breaks it down into different brands. So you can just see here, there is truffles. Oh, they look nice. And then you can get in each of their little sections, they have little items you can buy. Pre-packed, so this is a little pink handbag for £10. And then you've also got some bigger kind of gift ideas as well, which is really nice actually. William Kerr. I've heard good things about his stuff actually. Never actually had anything though. Looks quite bougie. Very pretty. Look at the packaging. Oh these are pretty. It's really nice. Very pretty, so that's £15. Apricot cherry pistachio, strawberry pink pepper and pistachio. And they've got some other slabs here. You've got the various uh, Ladderay macarons. Which, to be honest, I always get. I think I'm going to mix it up a bit as much as, again, I love the packaging. So this varies depending on how many you want. But um, I think I'm going to pass on them this time and try a different brand. A few of you in my last Harrods food vlog video, I'll link in the description bar and in the card in the corner. Some of you guys recommended a couple of other brands in here which I've not tried. So I think I'll give them a go. And a few YouTubers um, recommended this brand, I think. There was like a um, cornflake, I think it was, chocolate that they said was really nice. So maybe I'll give them a try, actually. So this is, uh, what is it called, a ladder rack. Let's see what they've got. So this is ladder rack. Um, I'm kind of tempted to try a small bag bit of a mix looks to be so this is milk chocolate bites in so that's 11 pounds 90 which is actually quite pricey i would say it looks to be about 11 pounds 90 and then these are the big slabs oh god they do look yummy actually apple almond florentine blackberry almond Ooh, russia that looks quite nice actually Cranberry, oh cornflakes, that pepper, that does look nice, really nice, it looks like it's about £9.50 per 100 grams. Got some dark chocolate, maybe I'll give them a go, I'm kind of curious to see what they're like, but they are quite a lot of money, so we'll see. This is totally my ideal job. I mean, I would eat my way through all of this. Look at it. Oh my God, heaven. Now, you would have no idea the smell, but it smells amazing. Absolutely amazing. Nice, gorgeous set of truffles. Here's some more, um, looks like to be more truffle options, bonbons, strawberry mint, 
bonbon, £2.50, raspberry bonbon, pistachio and cardamom. That looks quite nice. And then you've got passion fruit and thyme. Yuzu and coconut. And then it looks like you can get various boxes as options. But yeah, again, because I've come quite early, it's actually quite quiet. So it can get so busy, like so, so, so busy. So it's actually really nice to be able to walk around and I'm actually not disturbing many people when I'm filming, which does make a difference, to be honest. I do try and cut out a lot of people where I can. Not everyone wants to be on YouTube, of course. So a few more William Curler boxes. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. They look to do hot chocolate as well. I much prefer milk hot chocolate than dark hot chocolate though. But no, these look gorgeous. Six pounds. Red berry gift bar. Very yummy. Maybe I'll get Ladderac instead of Ladderay. But these do look gorgeous. Pistachio with Claire. Oh, look at these pistachio, lots of pistachio actually. Very pretty. Passion fruit tart. Very nice. You can also get um, strawberry dipped in chocolate. Looks to be £3.50. Six pieces, £16. Oh my god, this, this woman, you just want to be making them and eating them all day long. Cute little box, just quite pretty. I think I'm gonna get flies, six pound fifty. I think I'm gonna get the cherry pie because I think there's uh, not much left. Thank you, have a good day. Hi, can I get a slice of your cherry pie? Definitely, anything more for you? That's it, thanks. One or two, which one you? Um, oh, the biggest one. <laughs> I guess this one. Looks gorgeous. Yeah. What's the most popular, the apple or the cherry? Both. Ah, oh, okay. Nice. I might try the apple next time. You're doing more shopping? Yes, I am, yeah. That's Thank great. You Thanks a lot. Have a, Have a nice day. Yes. I might get one of their bags as well, which I think are quite a handy size. And I would suggest get one of these trolleys when you do shop. It just makes it so much easier, especially when it's really busy. So I'm going to get one of these. A nice one. Looks okay. Right in there. Right. Right, I'm gonna get a few bits now. Um, I need to head off, I've got an appointment. But um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, latest Howard's food vlog. Um, I'll link the description bar, the last one I did, because um, you guys, I think, found it quite popular. Just me wandering around, just seeing what there was. A few things have changed as well since I was last here. Um, a few different options. But yeah, I'll link it in the card in the corner as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm actually gonna probably get a quick drink from the coffee bar, maybe hot chocolate. Um, and I'm gonna head off, but I'll see you in the next video.